Hello, I'm Josh Dickel. And I'm Anne Valencia. And this is the Visual Arts Film 3 News. A lot has been happening here in the art department. Amber, why don't you fill us in? Photo is using Photoshop to make fine art images while Digital just finished their product ad and are currently starting their CD band cover. And Film just finished their silent films and we're currently filming this. Now let's head over to Sam for more information about the digital arts. So Tristan, I, will, I know that you teach the digital arts at Dwanger. Uh, can you explain to us what that entails? Uh, digital, digital art is basically anything with the computer. Um, there's a couple classes here where it kind of merges traditional and uh, digital art. So photography, we use not only the dark room, but we also use Photoshop on the computer. Um, so they'll print out photos in the dark room and then we can manipulate them within uh, the computer in Photoshop. Uh, digital design is a graphic design course, so we it's very computer heavy uh, using different software. And then film and video as well, where we use Premiere and we'll film in class and act in class and then edit those on the computer. Cool, so uh, what do you like the most about digital arts? I really love the digital art because you don't necessarily have to be a great artist to do good digital artwork. I've had students who may struggle with traditional art, the drawing or the sculpting, but be really amazing um, digital artists, and that's always a lot of fun to see because the computer is kind of the great equalizer. You just have to have a creative mind um, to do the digital art, and I've seen a lot of really great artwork come out of the computer. So. All right, well, thank you for that, Tristan. Back to you, Josh and Amber. In other news, the Visual Art Department has a new teacher whose interest students have been working on their acrylic paintings. They are based off of landscape images where the students then have to crop or zoom in to find an interesting composition. For more on the newest teacher in town, here's Eric. So Beth, tell us a bit about yourself and how you found your way to New Anger. Hi, my name is uh, Beth Thomas and I am new this year to Bishop Dwinger. I previously taught at uh, Warsaw High School in Fort Wayne Northrop and for the past nine years I have uh, stayed home with my children and raised them. I know you teach intro to 2D and 3D. What has been your favorite project so far? My favorite project has to be uh, the uh, figure drawings that we had worked on. Um, students posed uh, for one another in the classroom. It was all volunteer so um, students that were a little more uh, adventurous uh, chose to stand on the tables in front of the class and we were able, able to draw them in five minute or ten minute increments and I felt like it was a great experience for them to draw from real life and to draw from their peers. Thanks. Mrs. Adams' classes have been busy lately with her advanced 2D on working on mixed media projects and they just finished their printmaking edition. Her intro classes have started their painting project for this semester and her painting classes in the process of putting together their large-scale composition based off a local artist's work, Frank Webster. For more on that information on the dual credit drawing class, let's move to David Stevens, who's out in the field. I'm here with the Bishop Dwinger Visual Arts Department Chair, Marcy Adams. Marcy, tell us a little bit about the art department here at Bishop Dwinger. The art department is really expanding at Dwinger. This year we're teaching a dual credit course. Actually, this is our second year teaching that course. Um, so we have several students who are taking that college level drawing course. And it is really fun to see the work that they're knocking out. Our painting class is doing large contemporary paintings based on an artist who was from Fort Wayne originally. His name is Frank Webster. He lives out in New York in the Bronx. And so they've had a chance to review Frank's work. And in the end, they'll be sending Frank a letter probably saying how difficult it is to paint large-scale contemporary paintings. Back to you, Josh and Amber. Well, that's all for Film 3 News. I'm Amber. And I'm Josh. Stay, Stay classy, classy, Saints. Saints.